Hello everybody, I'm Nycad. This is Project Explore. Uh, Project Explore is kind of a survival uh, crafting exploration game made by Seabass and Gazelle Studios. We are going to start a new game. And we're going to go, I guess, small is fine to start with. So let's, uh, let's create a world. And you got a little bit of character customization here. You can change the hairstyle a little bit. Uh, you can change the hair color. There's a few options there. Shirt color changes a little bit. Legs are apparently... Apparently there's a few versions there. I can't really tell. You can change skin color. So let's just uh, go ahead with that. Day one... We're moving around here. You can, uh, you can craft stuff by pressing tab. It brings up this whole little menu here, and there's all these little things you can craft inside here. We could eventually, apparently, get a gun. I've found a gun in the few games that I've kind of played, but it has been... Uh, bullets are not, are not easy to find. Um, anyway, okay, so we're going to want to find... Oh, there's a bear. We're going to avoid him for the moment. We want to find some stone. Oh, here's a house, or building of some kind. There's a wolf, who we don't want to tangle with. Oh, it's locked. We don't want to tangle with a wolf just yet. There goes a deer. Oh, there's a rock. Nice, okay. We have a rock. Worst case scenario, we can fight somebody with that. Ooh, some string. I'll take some string. Take another rock. Oh, a water bottle, I think. Vitamin water. Six vitamin water. That's not bad. <clears throat> so you do have to... Uh, oh, another bear. You have to kind of... Um, I think these are rocks. I think these can be mined if we get a pickaxe. Um, more string. You have to kind of manage... Down here you have... Uh, I think the blue one's sanity, and then the red middle one is, is health, and the green is hunger. Uh, so there is something of a survival aspect to this, other than just... Ooh, walls? Alright. And... Can clams! Mmm, can clams. Another bear. We need to find... Ugh. Can I get it? Yeah, there we go. A large crate and a book. You can read books to kind of restore your sanity. Yeah, stay away from me, bear, please. I'll take some more rocks. And a knife? Sure, I'll take a knife. That could come in handy. Black running shoes. Increases movement speed by 25%. That's nice. Small fire. I'll take that. And, ooh, a stone axe. Perfect. That is going to come in handy. This is a great weapon. Great early game weapon. And it'll help us get some wood. Ooh. There's a crate that's actually placed. I'll take the small crate and the arrows. What's in here? A large crate, a wooden bow. Ooh, we got a bow now. We got some arrows. I don't think crates can stack, no. But I'll take the large crate, and I'm going to leave the small crates. Because the large crates hold a lot. I'll take the book. I'll take the, the rock and the lantern. Actually, no, I want that book. There we go. I'll leave everything else. Oh, skeleton. With Dr. Salt. Mmm, Dr. Salt. And a pistol! We got a 9mm pistol, but we don't have... ammo for it. Night's approaching. I don't think... There doesn't seem to be anything super... scary about the night, other than it gets a little bit hard to see. And I think your sanity goes down at night. Oh, there's another bear. You know what? We can take that bear now. A torch. Another pistol. And veggie water. Interesting. Let's kill that bear. Come here. So it's just right-click to attack with a weapon. The reason I like the axe is it's got a little more reach than, you know, a rock or a knife. So you can kind of just lead the... There we go. We've got some bear meat, some cloth, some animal fat. Bury him for 10 sanity. Um, the nice thing about the axe is it's got a little bit more range than the knife or, or the rock or anything like that. Stick! We're going to need that stick and a wall. 
Well, you know what? We could just live right here. Right here is a nice big open area. Let's live here. Did we get a floor? No, we still need to find wood, too. We started by trees. Crate and a book. I'll grab the rocks. There's a wolf and another wolf. Grab that rock. Thank you. Oh, no. Alright. Oh, he's going to leave me alone. Can I pick up that rock? No, I don't have room for a rock. I don't have room for wood, either. Okay. Well, if we're going to live... Well, you know what? Why don't we just live here? This can be... This can be where we live. Let's put down a large crate and put some stuff in there. So we'll put the guns in there because we can't use them right now. Let's light that small fire. Oop. There we go. Insanity reduction 20%. So we are getting... Oh, we want that bow. We are getting... Um, Less sanity loss than we otherwise would. Let's chop down this tree. There we go. There's some wood. We're going to need a lot of wood, though. So we don't need to use the rocks for weapons anymore, so we'll put them over there. We don't need the string on us. The wall can stay here, as can the doorway. We'll bring the bear meat torch. Uh, is that placeable? No, oh yeah, okay. So we get 10% sanity reduction if you're just walking around with the torch. I'm going to eat some of that bear meat, though. You just right-click to use an item. We're doing pretty good. Let's, uh... There's another bear. There's the bear. Come here. Day two, there we go. Got some bear stuff. There's another tree and a skeleton containing a book, life of a streamer, and some vitamin water. Is that vitamin water? Can they stack? They do stack. Nice. And some wood. Some more wood. Now, I do think there's kind of a limit at the moment. I mean, it is an alpha game, right? It's early access. So I think there is kind of a limit on exactly how much you can do on a map currently because, obviously, they're, uh, you know, they're small maps, still kind of early days. We could have made a larger one, and then there would be, you know, more resources, that kind of thing. But for now, I think this is fine. Uh, we are going to want as soon as we can here, to make, I think, a pickaxe. Come here, Wolfie. Ah, he hit us. All right, there we go. Animal fat, bury him. So, what does it actually take to make a pickaxe? Tools, stone pickaxes, one stick, one rock, and two cloth. Well, we're getting cloth from killing these guys. Ah, I thought he was dead. There we go. So we got we got two cloth, some more wolf meat. Let's bury that guy. Chop down a couple more of these trees. Now, what do you think the chances are of us finding our house again? Actually, <clears throat> oh no, oh we got we got rocks. Can we make a stone pickaxe? Oh, we totally could. Okay, let's put that there. So I think these are, yeah, these are rocks, so we get metal from these. Nice. Eight metal from that, and it takes four metal, two cloth, and a stick to make a metal pickaxe. So maybe... How do we make a stick? From one log. Well, we got log. So let's make a stick. 
And then let's make a metal pickaxe. So let's see how this changes. Oh, now we're getting stone? Or is this... Hmm. I wonder if you get... Do you get stone if you use a metal pickaxe and metal if you use a stone pickaxe? Come on, bear. No, it was just a different colored one. This one's probably going to give us metal. Uh, which we may not have room for. Well, let's just try. Stone. 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 Stone, which we don't have room for unless we... Oh, we could eat. Let's eat the wolf meat. There we go. And let's bury this guy. There you go. So like I said, what are the chances that we can find the house again? Is that... Oh, there it is. Nice. Actually, we should maybe keep that going. Doesn't seem to actually use up any fuel. I'm going to assume at some point it eventually will. But for now, doesn't seem to be using up any fuel. Let's put the stick in here for now. And the duct salt. The vitamin water. The can clam. The second large crate can go in there. Let's keep the wood on us. Keep the metal and the stone on us. Uh, animal fat can go in there. Cloth we'll keep, because that's pretty useful. Stone pickaxe we don't really need anymore. The book I'll hold on to for a moment. And the veggie water can go there. Okay, so... To make a... wall... Actually... I think we can make stone tiles and that kind of thing, so that's kind of neat. Let's make a... Oh, foundation takes eight logs. That's a lot of logs. Maybe we get more than one, though. Because we got more than one stick, and I didn't say we would. So we need... Um, let, yeah, let's go with foundation to begin with, I guess. So one gives us one? Really? Wow, that is not cheap. Four foundation. Do we have more? We got walls. And a doorway. Okay. Well, four foundation. Where do we want to put the house? How about how about right there? There we go. Nice little four board foundation. We got five. There we go. We can have a house that looks like that. And we need some walls, so we'll put one, two, three, four. Four walls. We need a doorway. Which, yeah, we'll put the doorway right there. Works fine for me. However, we are going to need a ceiling. And that's even more wood. So we're going to have to find a lot more wood. We can make another wall, though. Did we have more walls? Oh, there we go. No, we used up everything. Okay. Well, let's go in the house. And we got a lantern. So why don't we put a lantern... Nice. Minus, er, uh, 50% insanity reduction near the lantern. So that's kind of neat. Let's eat some of that bear meat. There we go. And I guess let's just head out and start looking around some more. So, the house is here. Wherever here is. Let's go... East. Straight east. Ooh. Ooh. So there's also these things, which are like some kind of mutant... Some kind of mutant creature. There we go. Killed him. He dropped a bow. An arrow. Bury him to get some sanity back. There's another guy. Oh, two guys. One guy died. He dropped a wall. Small crate. Chef Girlardi, whatever that might be, doorway, small fire. And there's this, did we look at this yet? Yeah, we already, we got that. What else you got? 
Any more mutant? Oh, there's a weird looking guy. Nope. That's all stuff. Another large crate. I like that. But what about... Ooh. I want to kill that guy, too. He looks like he's got a cool weapon that he maybe might drop. He actually hit us. There we go. There we go. He dropped a spring and a ceiling and a rock. Wooden bow. I wish we can't hold. But we got a ceiling. Let's go back to the house, which should be just like right here. Can we put a ceiling in here? Can I get us get rid of that right away? Yeah, there we go. We got a ceiling in part of the house now. Uh, another small fire. Let's, um, actually we got another large crate. Let's put a large crate in the house. Put that book in there, that book. I guess we can just store the rocks in here for now, because I'm not using them for anything. I will take that metal, though, because I want to see if we can make... Actually, didn't we have another stick? I'm going to leave that Chef Gillardy here. Did we not have... Nobody needs two bows. Which I'm not even using it anyway. Metal pickaxe. The knife and the torch can go in here. There we go. And I'll bring the bow. Now, did we not have another stick? We did. Okay. So, can I make... A metal axe? Totally could. There we go. Don't need stone axe anymore. We got a metal one. I'm actually going to bring that stone pickaxe with us. Because I want to I wanna see what happens. If we use a stone or a metal one. If we get different things from them or if it's just... You know, just aesthetic or something. Uh, what did he drop? A wooden bow. I'm going to leave that there. I'll take the doorway though. Bury them. Anybody else? No, that appears to be everybody. Oh, there's a wolf. I do want you, Wolfie. There we go. More cloth, animal fat, stuff. Okay, so let's try the stone pickaxe. One rock. If we use the metal, we get two stone. So I guess, yeah, there must have just been something about that one that... Oh, another arrow, another book, and a water bottle. There must have been something about that, um, about the rocks that I didn't really, couldn't tell the difference or something. We do need more wood. Oh, that is nice. The metal axe takes this stuff down in two hits. And you get the same amount of wood, so that just makes it a lot easier, I guess. What do you got for me? A book. There we go. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like you can take apart the existing houses. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take the metal. I'll take that other lantern and the water bottle. Uh, it doesn't seem like you can take apart um, like the existing houses. Ooh, water. I think you can fill up water bottles from, from water sources like this. What's in here? Absolutely nothing. I guess you could repurpose that house. For your own needs. Locked. Well, we can chop that down. Let's just bust right into this house. Can you use the pickaxe on it? Yeah. You can. Neat. Two crates. What's in this one? Bandage. That'll be useful, I guess. I don't really want the torch. I will take the water bottle. 
Another bandage, I'll take that. Is that a, a wall? Yes, I will take a wall. Can you not stack these? I guess not. Bandages do not stack. I think it's almost... Well, we're kind of getting full. Pep D, a big fire. I'll take the big fire. And I guess we're kind of full now, so let's head back. There's a skeleton. Vitamin water and a torch. How much wood do we have? We got... Eh, we can hold some more. So we can hold a couple more trees worth of wood. So if we find any more just kind of on the way back here, we'll grab them. Is that a... That a no, that's a deer. That's a bear. Who's coming for us. I think I've lost the house. Bear meat? Uh, let's eat some. There we go. Uh, Dr. Salt. I do not want any Dr. Salt at the moment. Bury that guy for sanity. There's a wolf. I'm just gonna run... Oh, there are two wolves. I'm just gonna run from them, because I want to... Where'd, the, where'd our house go? I think we passed it, maybe. Is it down here? How, did we go north or south of the house? Well, obviously we have... Maybe we went south. I mean, there's all these animals down there, so obviously we didn't go there. Oh, I remember this place, I think. No, we didn't go in that one. And here's trees. Great. So we're lost. Did we... No, we didn't go in there either. Hmm. You can make a compass, which is maybe something we're gonna... There's a metal rock. There's another one. You can make a compass, which is, I guess, something we're gonna want to make, because... Oh, was this the one we passed? I have no idea. No, it couldn't have been, right? Because we left all these wood. Hello? Oh, that's a foundation. I can totally use that. Uh, well, we'll find the house eventually, right? Or at least find a building that we've been in eventually. This... Oh! Yeah, there we go. Okay, the house is right here. We just went a little bit north of it. I think the animals respawn. I think that's kind of a renewable resource. There we go. There's the house. Okay. Let's, uh... Actually, we got a wall. So... Let's put a wall in. And we got another lantern. Let's put a lantern... Right there. Maximum insanity reduction at all points in the house. Nice. Okay, let's make uh, a floor. Foundation. There we go. We need one, two, three more walls. There we go. We need a door. Nice. I like it. And we need... I don't know why I keep going back to that chest. We need one, two, three. We need more ceilings than that, but that's all we got. So we need two more ceilings. Let's take care of that and put down... The big fire, how about over here? Right in front of the house. And we'll put that one in there for now. We'll put the bottle in there, the books. I want to go get some of that metal. So, I'm going to do that. Actually, you know what? I think maybe this is a good time to call it perhaps an episode. I think we've been going for about 20-something minutes, which is probably good. Uh, so this has been Project Explore. Thank you for watching. It's currently on Steam Early Access. I'm going to do a few more episodes of this, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.